I got a piece here. The smell of this, oh, it smells so good. Mm. <laughs> mm. Oh my. Well, I didn't expect it to taste like that. Last year when we were in Greece, we went on two delicious food tours. And this year, we've decided to do it again. As you guys probably know, when we go to a new city, we love to try the food. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're gonna be doing today, but we might try some old favorites and maybe some new things. So the plan for the day is to start with some smaller dishes and maybe work our way up to some bigger things. Uh, we're definitely gonna be focusing more on street food as it seems to be an abundance of it here in the city. All right, guys, we have our first dish. It's called bugatza. Um, I think it's traditionally like a breakfast dish or like a nightlife type thing, you know, like after you've been drinking type food. Mm. There's also a big nightlife around here, so maybe it's just in this city. It's, I think, phyllo pastry, and this, the one we got, I think is the most traditional, and it has like a custard in the middle, but they had all sorts of different options with like spinach and cheese, so you can get sweet or savory. The smell of this, oh, it smells so good. It is so creamy and rich, and the cinnamon and all the icing sugar uh, on the top is just divine. It's like a little bit crispy as well from the phyllo. What? This is so good. I can't get over how creamy that custard is. So they did ask us if we want cinnamon and sugar on top, and obviously we said yes. But uh, you don't need it if you don't have to, if you don't like it. That is so delicious. I would say the custard almost has like a creamy cheese texture to it. Not a flavor, but a texture quite creamy, sticks on your tongue a little bit, but it's really, really sweet, but not too sweet when I say that. Um, the phyllo is a little bit crunchy, but again, it like blends in nicely with the uh, custard. It's really, really yummy. So we came over to this place looking for a thing that's sort of similar to a bagel. It's called Kulori. Looks like they have it. So this is it, guys. As you can see, it does look just like a bagel, but it is thinner. I wonder if it's going to be as good. The only thing I read about the history of it was that it came uh, here from immigrants that came from Asia Minor. Maybe that's Turkey? I'm not quite sure. But let's try it. Mm. Mm, I can smell it from here. It smells mm. good. So as you can tell, the first thing first, it's very, very, very chewy. It's also covered in sesame seeds, so you're immediately like, that's the first taste that you get. It reminds me a lot of a Montreal bagel, but a little bit more dense. But if you've been to Montreal, you definitely recognize this taste. Mmm. Very crispy, as you said. This has got Montreal bagel written all over it. Um, and it's like a cross between a pretzel. That's what it reminds me of. Really crispy on the outside, as I said. You really taste those sesame seeds. They're kind of smoky. It's a little doughy in the inside, but it is chewy overall. So I do wonder um, what this would be like with some like melted butter. I wonder if that's a thing here or not. Maybe you guys can let us know, but so far I think it's safe to say we are two for two. So we got our third dish and we decided to uh, just come down to this section that apparently is a bunch of ruins, it seems. Yeah, and there's nobody here. It's open and like we're the only people. Is that not weird? <laughs> we have it all to ourselves <laughs> to eat this yummy little guy. So on to food number three. It's a pie, a savory pie. I don't know if there's like a word for these in Greek, but I don't know what it is. So we're just going to call it a pie. Um, there's a whole bunch of different types. We got spinach and cheese in the middle. So maybe it is like a spinacopita, but then I don't know what the other ones would call it. You could get like ham, 
There was cheese, there was, oh, I don't even remember the other ones, but there were a whole bunch of different ones. Right away, I can tell it's gonna be really, really messy. I think it's made again with phyllo pastry, but I could be wrong. It's almost like a pie crust. It's not that messy so far. Not too bad. <laughs> so a little bit flaky, not too chewy. Um, a little bit of a spinach flavor, maybe a bit too, uh, it seems funny to get a spinach pie and complain that it's too spinachy, but I wish the cheese was a little bit more forward in it. Um, I would like it if I could get some like of that salty feta taste in it. Maybe it was just the bite that I had, but that's really what I was looking for. Second bite, way better. I definitely got a big chunk of feta in there, and that really balances it out with that saltiness. I like it way better. It tones down the spinach a little bit. Mm, this is yummy. So Anna mentioned uh, it could be too spinachy. I actually get that reference because sometimes I just don't like when there's too much spinach in something. But I do see the cheese right away, and I think I'm going to have a good first bite. Mm -hmm. mm. That is very good. For me, that was a perfect balance of that salty, salty feta cheese and um, the texture of the spinach. And just the outer layer of this is so crispy. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. Just makes for this nice contrast where it's so soft in the middle and then crispy on the outside. Um, back home, we call this Spanakopita. I know Anna called it Spanakopita. Um, I'm not sure what they call it here, like Anna said, because there are different kinds, but I'd be very curious to find out. All I know is it's very, very tasty. guys the food has come uh, we got some pork gyros they kind of came kind of in like in a deconstructed kind of way and thankfully the waiter asked us if we want some tzatziki good option we and absolutely love this dip every time yeah. we have it I'm putting some on some pita bread and trying it I always say to Anna, like, why can't we get this at home? Well, that's this we good. We can get and this it at fresh. home. Even at a restaurant, like a Greek restaurant, it's not this good. Um, it's made with, like, really, really fresh, obviously really thick, like, Greek yogurt, some big cucumbers, and some dill, and it's just so good. What I was expecting is a gyro and a pita wrap like we had last year. But all the ingredients are here. And over this way, we have some pita. So I think I'm just gonna assemble this and put a bunch of these items on here and see how it tastes. So I got the onions on there, some tomatoes, um, obviously that pork, it smells really good. Um, I'm putting tzatziki on there as well, of course, and this, I'm so excited to try this. I am so excited to try this now. We've waited a year to have this again. Here we go. Mm. This is it, it's probably my favorite type of wrap sandwich combination there is on the planet. Mm, mm, mm. Everything is so fresh. The pork is tender. It's cut nice and thin, which is how I usually like it. I don't know what it is about tomatoes and grease, but they're always like the most freshest. Um, the onions are nice and potent. There's a bit of a kick to them. And overall, it just goes really well together. So as you guys may or may not know, the gyro is actually derived from the donor kebab. So it's like a big old spit. They like shave off the meat. Sometimes it's, so here I think it's traditionally pork, but you can also get chicken once in a while. Here it's just pork at this restaurant. But I put it into a same sort of thing that Trevor just did. I'm pretty sure you're gonna like this. <laughs> Mm, the meat is like super fresh, but then it has like the um, really freshness from the vegetables and the tzatziki. So oh, I just love this combo. It's really the best thing that maybe ever existed. <laughs> I know. That's what I keep saying. It's perfect. It's perfect. Yeah. How do you guys do this? Mm. So what have you gotten us into this time? Some sort of dessert. I don't really know what it is, but it looks yummy. They look like little, um, I don't know what you would call these. What's on the top? They're like little cones. I wonder if they're gonna be similar to what we had this morning. They look like little cones with some sort of filling in them. All right, last dish of the day is of course dessert. Uh, it's called Trigona, Trigona Panoramatos. I'm probably butchering that, but hopefully I'm somewhat close. 
uh, some sort of pastry, it has a filling. I'm wondering if it's gonna be similar to the first dish we had today. So a couple of things here. A, that's a very fun word to say, panero panoromatos. I think so. <laughs> and B, we don't have dessert too often. We don't. So this is kind of a treat for you viewers today and well us to be quite frank. <laughs> and I will tell you, it smells amazing. Hmm, I wish I could describe it. I wish it was smell-o-vision, guys. So it's kind of like a little cone, and then they fill it with maybe like vanilla filling or something like that, but let's taste it. It's cold, so if I compare it to what we had this morning, which was also like a custard and a uh, phyllo pastry, that was hot. This is cold. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> it looks like it's terrible. It's not terrible. <laughs> so the vanilla filling or the custard like I'm gonna compare it to what we had the first thing because we're gonna make a full circle here we started off with a custard pastry thing we're finishing with a custard pastry thing this one the custard is like vanilla-y it's sweet but not too sweet uh, it's way more um, creamy than the one this morning like I said I think if you recall I said the one that we had first thing kind of felt like cheese to me a lot more creamy consistency almost like vanilla icing Ooh, that's so good and then the pastry itself is really really chewy it's like thick thick and chewy maybe has some honey drizzled over it I'm totally into this oh it's so good Guys, what a day. I feel like we say this in every video, but this was one, you guys know this is one of our favorite kind of videos to film, right? Yeah, and I had high expectations going in thinking it was gonna be a yummy day, but it mm -hmm. was even better than I expected. Mm -hmm. Greek food is so good, and Greek street food is like on point, guys. Yeah. So good. If you're wondering what this is, mm -hmm. Fredo Cappuccino. You guessed it, I'm hooked. I've been like having two or three a day of these, so it's probably why I'm a little more hyper he, than he usual. You just told me we have to make up for 365 days of not, right. well, I guess 340 days or something of the year <laughs> not being able to eat drink them. So that's a lot of Fredo Cappuccinos we have There's to get through in the next few weeks. logic there though, right? <laughs> I mean, you know, what are we talking? Three, four weeks a year, we're mm -hmm. in Greece, so we have to do this. But anyway, all things aside, the food today has been exceptional. Yeah. Can't pick a favorite. The point is not to pick a favorite, but all mm -hmm. I can say is like, it, it opened our eyes up to even more Greek food than we already yeah. know. Yes. Um, so, if you get the chance, especially if you're in Thessaloniki, be sure to come out and try some of the street food that we did today. Yes, it's a, a city that's known for its food and yeah, it definitely held up to that today. Mm -hmm. Now, guys, if you got this far in the video, make sure to give it a like, that really helps us out. And hit the subscribe button as well, you might as well. And maybe leave us a comment, it's the only way we know that you're watching. If you haven't seen our last video, we were exploring this beautiful city. Yes. Yeah, it was a huge, the food was a surprise in some points, and the city itself has been absolutely amazing. So you should definitely go back and check that out. And the next week's going to be a little bit of a different video Is for us. Is it ever? Yeah, yeah. So we are taking a two-hour bus um, to another city to catch a ferry. It's a 24-hour ferry to head to some Greek islands. So we're heading to Patmos but it's a 24 hour ferry and guess what? We're filming the whole thing. Yeah. Probably with some Fredo Cappuccinos. I hope so. Oh, hopefully we can get Fredo Cappuccinos on board. So that's what Otherwise you'll see. it's gonna be miserable. You'll see us there next on <laughs> a ferry for 24 hours. Then we'll be at some islands and we can't wait to share the islands with you guys. Yeah. All right guys, that's it. From Thessaloniki, wishing you delightful travels. See you soon.